happy Wednesday and happy St. Patrick's Day. Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce is accepting applications for its youth leadership. Now it's a seven month program designed to develop leadership skills. This morning, our friend Christina Helmick is here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Shining bright in your green. That looks great. <laughs> Trying to get in the spirit, right? That's right. <laughs> Making sure we don't get pinched this morning. Exactly. We want to go ahead and talk about this amazing um, youth leadership organization. So you were just telling me this has been a thing for 18 years. Yes, we are um, in our 18th year of this program and this um, program is part of the Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce uh, 501c3 arm, the foundation. And so it all that this program runs through our foundation. How amazing yeah. is that? So like we said, this is for youth leadership, really helping our youth, especially in the Eastern Shore, develop yes. those amazing skills that will set them up for life. We want to talk about what this group typically does if we have um, someone in high school who is eligible and wants to apply. So um, it's for rising uh, ninth, sorry, rising 10th, 11th and 12th graders. Um, along the Eastern Shore. You have to be um, living full time along the Eastern Shore or going to school on the Eastern Shore. And it's a, you know, we look at it as a, a journey. Leadership is a journey. You don't just jump into being a leader, you learn about it. And so we, um, during our seven month program, we um, look at those skills, we identify leadership skills. There are so many different traits and characteristics of a leader. And um, so we look at that and then we immerse them into a curriculum where they get to engage with different community leaders under broad topics. So we meet once a month. Um, we have law and government day where we meet with our governmental officials, elected officials, um, city leaders. And then we have business smarts, which, which is more of a career exploration um, day. And then, um, environmental day, um, we have health and human services day, and all of that kind of correlates with, um, you know, what's happening in the world, what's happening in our community, um, and really getting them to understand what it's like to lead under all of these different mm -hmm. uh, subjects and and um, parts of our community. How awesome yeah. is this? Thinking back to when I was in high school and the, at, I was in those grades, you kind of don't know what you want to do with your life. And you're starting to get that question as you go into college, what do you want to do? This is an amazing opportunity for these students to kind of figure out their path in life. It is, so I mean, workforce is such a huge ordeal, or not ordeal, but a huge initiative across the country. Um, and we are not doing a service to our kids by not letting them truly explore mm -hmm. opportunities. And so we are able to do that through this program and give them a sense of what it would be like to be in the envir uh, environmental subject or be in law and government or be, um, you know, uh, in health and human services, you know? So it's not only meeting and engaging with these leaders, but we also are able to look at career pathways within that. Amazing, so, so you want to make sure if you have a student of your own, you are a student watching this this morning, you want to go ahead and apply real quick. Um, what's the website they can apply and find more information at? They can apply directly online at www.eschamber.com and there is a, a little click that you can click on and um, the application deadline is April 16th. You apply directly on a fillable document online and it goes directly, it's submitted directly when you're done. Perfect, Christina, so, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Of course, keep in mind, this is for rising 10th, 11th and 12th graders. What an amazing program right here on the Gulf Coast. Joe.